You know, I've been in the market for some really funky looking leg coverings that are going to keep my lower appendages warm in the winter months. I came across this company called LuLaRoe that has quite the variety, but they're also the subject of a new Amazon Prime documentary called Lula Rich. So should I be worried? This four-part docuseries chronicles the unraveling of clothing company LuLaRoe. Known for their buttery soft leggings, the infamous multi-level marketing company went viral promising young mothers work from home salvation. Capitalizing on the growing power of social media, LuLaRoe's eccentric founders recruited an astonishing army of independent retailers to peddle its increasingly bizarre and effective clothing products. So a documentary on an MLM doesn't necessarily sound like it would be riveting content, especially to cover four 45-minute episodes. Maybe if it were true crime or some deep mystery, then sure, that gets me intrigued. Surprisingly, Lula Rich is very compelling thanks mainly to the wonderful and engaging interviews. First, we have the heads of the company, Deanne and Mark Stidham, who provide just a ton of fascinating and then sometimes questionable content. As the co-founders of LuLaRoe, they are the best ones to speak about their vision and the background for the company. Now, sure, there's a lot of spin that happens because they've got to maintain the brand, so what they say is also taken with a grain of salt. There are several portions of the conversations that made me question the validity of their background stories, and specifically Deanne's tales of growing up. Regardless of how true or not they are, the one thing that stood out to me as an overall impression of her as she recounted just her childhood and even into the formation of the company was how greedy and focused on money she actually is. Now Mark comes across that way as well, but not so blatantly. He uses different terms to disguise his quest for wealth. And this is important because it speaks to how much they truly believe all that they say in their marketing to those prospective independent retailers. Other interviews come from former and current individuals who have ties to the company. Some were employees in the home office, while others were at some level of that MLM structure. This documentary does a good job of chronicling the time of LuLaRoe as a company and how it grew into a massively large corporation that drew in billions of dollars. There are portions brought up either by the Stidhams or by some of the other independent retailers that discuss possible ties or influences from the Mormon church. Not that this was a church enterprise, but that some of their values were incorporated into the business. I wanted a little more detail on this, like how influential was the church in the Stidham's lives? I didn't need a lot more info, but because it was mentioned in a few different areas of the documentary by different people, I just wanted to see it satisfied. So if you're going to watch this, the interviews are some of the most entertaining parts, and they can also be the most heartbreaking. When we hear and see from people who joined and were financially ruined by taking part in this MLM, I found it saddening. There's a former employee who's interviewed, and this dude is his own kind of special. He's quirky, but matter of fact, which causes a bunch of entertaining exchanges. In addition to the interviews, the filmmakers also gained access to deposition footage from a Washington state court case. Now, while the content isn't riveting in its own right, it does paint a really good picture of the Stidhams. Mainly, they're stoic and very unemotional, almost disinterested. But during one portion, when a video clip is played, Deanne's whole countenance changes, which then really lets us in on her true feelings and motivations. The production quality of this is top-notch. All of the interview footage looks great, and I love the addition of some B-roll and behind-the-scenes as the interview subjects get ready for the camera. Now, there's nothing groundbreaking here or even anything salacious that's uncovered. It's just a good aesthetic that enhances the overall production. We can feel the drama of the narrative grow as each episode progresses. We know right from the start that this documentary isn't a puff piece or a promotional story on LuLaRoe. When the retailers begin to have issues with the product, all that surrounds that really does get hinky. I think the way the story developed is done in a way to not rush us into it, but also it doesn't tease it out too long. We get a brief synopsis at the beginning, then the story backs up to the beginning to lay it all out for us, taking us on the ride with a lot of detail. Now, I think this documentary has a few goals in mind when it reaches its conclusion. First, they're out to tell us the story of this large corporation that seemingly took advantage of people in order to gain massive profits. Second, they're educating us on what to look out for in a multi-level marketing operation, which has the potential to be a drain on finances rather than a contributor. They're also educating us on pyramid schemes to show the similarities and the differences between them and MLMs. And third, they have to entertain us with a catchy and even fantastical story where we get to hear some of it directly from those in charge. The details are rich and a lot of the claims are backed up by evidence, which helps to build an even more compelling narrative. I think Lula Rich accomplishes all three goals. Now, these are my suppositions of what the goals were, but based on what I saw, they kind of fit. 
Now, I wasn't sure about how engaging this would all be, especially when I saw that there were four episodes. Surprisingly, though, I was fully sucked into what I was watching, and I binged them all in quick succession. At the end of it, I was entertained and informed. I learned about a group of people and a company that I was unaware of previously. While the story was impactful, especially listening to all of the interviews, it's not something that is going to stick with me in the long haul. I mean, I enjoyed the viewing experience, but I won't revisit it short of some crazy expose that is uncovered that warrants a follow-up episode. This is good for a casual watch if you need a break from fiction, but I also don't think it's something to drop everything for to binge. There's no sex, nudity, or violence, but there is some profanity. I recommend checking out Lula Rich on Amazon when you're in the mood for a documentary. Are you aware of LuLaRoe and the controversy surrounding their products and then business dealings? Does that knowledge make you want to see this documentary? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, please give it a like. Also, don't forget to share and subscribe. I'm Chris. This is Movies and Munchies. Thanks for couching with me.